So something I haven't mentioned yet is about when to uh, tell people at work that you're pregnant. Um, obviously this is a personal decision for everyone. Some people are comfortable telling much earlier than others. Um, for me, I've always felt around three months was good, but since being here, I didn't know what the idea was. So the first thing I recommend, you know, of course, do whatever you want. It's just my advice. Um, find someone to confide in that knows Japanese. Um, I have a best friend at school, and so I went to her. I told her when I was around six or seven weeks pregnant, when I was going in for the official test, and I said, I'm pregnant. Um, and I also wanted to ask her about doctors and where she had had her baby, because she has had a child before. So I confided in her, I asked her, and after I asked her what doctor she used and could recommend to me, the second question was, when should we tell people here at school and how do we go about doing it? So typically the procedure when you have some hidden magic news is you tell the principal first. So find someone who can go see the principal with you when you are comfortable seeing the principal. Now, I was, um, I discovered I was pregnant near the end of October, um, November-ish, and that's right around the time when they are deciding which teachers are going to come and go in March and April. And my friend and I play a lot of strategy at the school, and so we wanted to go in and tell the principal that I was leaving so if there were any other key people in classes that needed to be there while I was gone, because now I'm gone for first semester, um, that they wouldn't move those key people out of those classes or out of the school because I wouldn't be there to be able to carry the class on through the first half of the year. So we, we were playing a little bit of strategy, so we told early. But um, it's really up to you when you decide to tell. Um, you should tell as soon as you feel comfortable because there's a lot of paperwork. There's going to be your leave and how they're going to organize your leave. It's going to be different for every contract. Um, I'll talk about contractual maternity leave at some point. But find when you think you'll be comfortable telling. Talk with your partner. Talk with um, you know a friend. If you have a friend you can confide in. And I really recommend somebody who speaks and or knows Japanese. If your husband or partner is, you know, speaks Japanese, maybe they can handle it. But for me, my husband and I are both not Japanese, and so we wanted somebody who really knew the lay of the land and how stuff worked and to read all the fine print kanji on the forms. So, um, kind of, kind of feel out the school and feel out how it's going to go. And then, um, when you're ready, have that person go with you to see the principal. I guess at some at some step you might want to just, even if your confidant wasn't at school, eventually you need someone, maybe your supervisor or someone you feel comfortable with to tell at school to go with you to see the principal. So, and then what ends up happening is, at least in my school, the principal will tell everyone at his principal's meeting, so all the like heads of the departments and such, and then the information kind of disseminates through from there. You don't like you get up in morning meeting and be like, hey guys, I'm pregnant. It's more of that quiet, here, let's let everyone know kind of a thing. Um, you'll know whenever they have the meeting because within a few days after that, everybody stops, starts to come by your desk and congratulate you and be like, oh my God, I heard you're pregnant. Um, my principal told me, you know, all oh, the December second or third meeting or whatever he was going to tell everybody. And sure enough, like the third, the fourth, the fifth, everybody kept coming and, and talking to me about it. So, yes, find what you're comfortable with, find someone to confide in, and then you go see the principal first. So, and that's just my advice. So, have a good one. Man. <sighs> my brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> <sighs> Should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto, so I could at least think. <laughs>